Mage. Mage could be a few things. There are a lot of ultra greedy control mages right now. Um, how greedy am I for a one drop? I'm pretty greedy for a one drop, aren't I? I definitely want to get rid of Scalebane. I really want a one drop, but yeah. I want to keep the Henge Clan Thug. Ah. I want a one drop. Alright. Ah, balls. That ain't good. Watch, I'm gonna draw a one drop next next turn. It's gonna happen. I uh, guess not. Ugh, alright. Well, he's gonna have an answer to my hench clan thug, probably. That's a bummer. Coin. We have many Oh. Hmm. Okay, in that case... Hmm... Okay, well he probably played Explosive Runes to try and counter my... Probably played Explosive Runes to try and counter my Hench Clan thug. So... I probably want to play Blink Box. <laughs> That'll be nice. All right. Um, is mine. I'm gonna attack because my hench clan thug. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play that next turn. I want to, but at the same time, if he's just got a four three, it's not gonna work as well. Oh, he's just pinging me. All right. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this works out well. In that case. Okay, I gotta order this correctly. I've made a mistake before where I attack before I attack with the Henge Clan. I've made that mistake before. Okay, so the game plan is officially get to n get to turn nine, and then I can just kind of win. Um, because if I can just out heal him, then like he's not gonna he's playing a very all in kind of deck. He just used a Frost Bolt, so it'd probably be hard for him to get rid of a Fledgling. He's had a really tempered start. He didn't have anything on turn three. And on turn four, he just did a Frost Bolt thing. Oh, I had the second Frost Bolt. Oh, well, that's stuff he doesn't have against me. Um, alright. I've got a Tar Creeper. Eh, deck hand is some Burst. Might want to save that for... If I get a cold blood. I have to be careful of double fireball. Huh. Now my my firefly will get a cheeky extra lifesteal. I don't like that you're using Primordial Glyph to get more stuff. Order lull. Oh, he's just straight up Death Knight Mage, isn't he? Alright. In that case. Alright. Let's get rid of... I kinda wanna... Alright, we're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna wreck him with tempo. Got my meteor placement as well. My meteor placement is pretty solid. Alright, what have you got? So he's running just like straight up Death Knight Mage. Like elementals. Blaze Collar. Ooh, double fungal mancer. Justice is mine. 
Uh, let's see here. Do I want... Does this extra damage matter? I'll put this out. Um, just in case. He might kill it, but... Just in case. There's the meteor. It might just be too good to get the Fungal Mancer value soon. Steam Surger. Ooh, sweet. Alright. Um, do I have lethal? Three, seven... Three, six... This shouldn't be hard. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to count that. <laughs> I'm not used to playing this deck, the numbers are weird. Alright, well that went well. Not a whole lot of people are playing that elemental mage thing, that's interesting. Ooh, druid. Alright. Token druid, togwaggle druid... Um, could be... Oh, uh, it could also be... Oh, what's it called? Um... Uh, Hadronox Druid. Or Taunt Druid, I guess it's technically called. That's the one I see the most. Aggressive forms of Druid aren't really a thing anymore. Oh, and there's also Malagos Druid. What's up with my cursor? My cursor's all kind of bugged out. Haha, -ha, I've got Divine Shield. You can't kill that. Haha. -ha. Hmm. Part of me wants to coin a 3 drop. Hmm, nah. Alright, does he have Swipe? And if he does have Swipe, is he going to use Swipe on my 4-4? Four -four? Let's find out. Alright, what you got? Come on, Mr. Druid Man. Ah, Whispering Woods. I need to respect these a little bit. That's about as much respect as I'll give. You can put Soul of the Forest on them. I do have another Tar Creeper, though. That's why I'm being so lenient with this. Killed a couple of them so I don't get, like, bursted to hell with Savage Roar. If he uses Savage Roar, then he can't do any, like, Soul of the Forest nonsense. Hmm. Shout out to Blink Fox, my favorite card from the expansion. Okay, Violet Teacher. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what the hell? I got Jaina last game and I got Hadronox this game. I got the win conditions for different decks. <laughs> but they don't really work with mine that much. Um... Do I want to kill that Violet Teacher? Do I think it's important enough to kill? Probably not, right? Eh, probably, actually. I just need to keep... 
developing to the point where he needs to answer it. He's only got so much stuff. Like, he's got two Violet Teachers, he's got... Oh, he had the swipe. Spellstone. Got the Spellstone. Oh, Power of the Wild. Oh, he's double clearing. Okay. Well, that's a Power of the Wild going. I'm just making him use cards to get rid of my stuff. We'll do... If it comes down to it, I can coin nine drop into nine drop. That'd be that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Coin Baku into Hadronox. Such a thing is unprecedented. This isn't the most threatening board. Which I'm glad that he used Spreading Plague on that. He probably didn't want to do that. Alright. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that in case he has the second. Well, okay, he's got 19 cards and five cards his hand. Do, do I really think he's got the second spreading plague? Like, probably not, right? So, I mean, I don't think I need to worry about that. So, I don't need to, I'm not gonna bother. Plus, he can't even kill off that one, so he'd only get three more. Branching paths. I wonder if he's running Ultimate Infestation in his deck. I, I'm personally not a fan of Ultimate Infestation in Token Druid. Um, I think I have it in mind, but I'm going to take it out. Um, you just end up having too many cards. Like, you can never really use it. Okay, that's a Spellstone dealt with. All right. Ooh, scale main. Okay, that's better than anything else I was gonna do this turn. We'll do this. Justice is mine. Again, I'm gonna be a little bit more wary of the of the spreading plague. I don't want to just throw a bunch of one drops out unnecessarily. He did just draw a bunch too. Well, not a bunch, but still. It just kind of, it's just, it's kind of like, I'm just trying to play to his outs, like, as much as I can, that is. Yeah, he's got the second one. That's fine though. I've got the scale bane out still, so that's really good. All right. Oh, sick. All right. Well, that helps. So you kill one. You kill one. You and I both kill one. And then we'll do this. Um, I don't need to poke this. What could he do? How could he punish this? If he had second swipe, this would get punished a little bit. What else? Um, I think I'm okay leaving it. It'd be exactly second swipe. I also wouldn't really like it if the Cobalt Scalebane buff got put on the Firefly, but attacking really doesn't do me anything there. And if he plays a bunch of 1-1s one or something, I can use it to my advantage. Nourish for draw. He really didn't hit any of his mana ramp this game. That's good for me. Oh, I had the second swipe. Okay. That's fine. Scalebane still live, which is good. Alright, let's go. Both, both spreading plagues are gone. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, the Faku. He's probably going to naturalize it, if he has it. Not everyone runs naturalized. I think it's a really good 
inclusion in the deck. Um, if he has it, then he needs to use it or else he's dead. <sighs> I could really use a Cold Blood. Ooh, Malfurion. Okay. Ah, he's killing the Skeldane. Luckily for me, I can kill both of these. Oh, sick. How could you possibly live from this? I am all ears. <laughs> I can rest now. All right, that worked. Odd road, it works. Especially when people are just playing a bunch of really greedy things that can die to board pressure. Ooh, another rogue. All right. Ooh. Deadly Poison and South Sea Deckhand, I don't really think I need yet. Um, I've got SI7 Agent to try and get some board presence early. I, those are kind of more bursty stuff. I kind of want to get a solid stuff. There we go. Hench Clan Thung is really, really what I was mainly looking at. No. Dire Mole is like the ultimate get stuff done one drop. Ooh, okay, is he is he Miracle Rogue? If that's the case, this could be interesting. I've never played Odd Rogue versus Miracle Rogue before. Miracle Rogue's gotten a lot more popular lately. Ooh, Scale Bane, that'll be helpful. Okay, don't have the God Edwin, please. <laughs> I just don't want you to have the God Edwin. Don't go, like, prep fan... Oh, he doesn't have coin. Okay, so he can't actually do it. That's th thank goodness. You uh gonna gonna finish off there? Or maybe. Oh, he must be considering like backstabbing. Um. Okay. So I'm okay. With, okay, so he didn't attack with his knife, which means that he probably has Hench Clan Thug. Um, either that or he's just saving it, but I can assume he probably has Hench Clan Thug. Um, first things first attack there. Um, so, in that case, I'm okay with going Dagger on my turn. He goes, he plays Hench Clan Thug and attacks, and then I play my Hench Clan Thug and attack. Um, I have. SI7 if I need it. Um, I also have Vile Spine on four if I need it, because I can coin Vile Spine. Backstab, okay. Okay, so he doesn't have Hench Clamp Thug. He used a backstab too, which is really nice, which makes it a lot harder for him. Oh, shiving my face, all right. Um, which is really good for me because now he doesn't have the backstab to try and help deal with the Hench Clamp Thug. So. Let's go. Think. I really think he should have saved that backstab. Because the same thing applies for me. I didn't attack on turn two with my dagger because I'm going to play Hench Clan Thug. He should have probably assumed that and saved a backstab. Other than killing a Dire Mole. What's a Dire Mole going to do unless I cold blood it? Okay, he sapped that. Still. Alrighty. Yay, fill up the curve. Alright. Let's do that. We're approaching Auctioneer turn. I'm not quite there yet, but I've got Vile Spine for it if I need it. I'm probably going to play Scalebane next turn if my board sticks. If either of my minions stick. Second backstab. Is this eviscerate? 
Oh. Sick. Oh, that's a Sick. All right, and that, oh God, yes. Oh, that's pretty sick. Um, I do kind of want to get rid of this though and snowball this. So in that case, I will play, we'll do this. Hmm, hmm. this is uh, awkward to deal with this. Um, I definitely want to do this. I think I'll do, Tar Creeper. There were a lot of different ways I could have done that, but I like, he showed that he couldn't deal with the Henge Clan Thug last turn. So I don't want to, I, I'm going to assume he can't deal with it this turn. And if I put a taunt out, that means he can't SI7 agent and dagger it. Um, so that helps there. He pretty much needs to have Eviscerate or Vile Spine or SI7 Agent into Second Shiv or like something weird fan SI7 Agent. So like, it just makes it really awkward for him to get rid of it. Um, so if he shows that he can't deal with it, then just keep playing to that is kind of my mentality that I'm going with. But I don't think he didn't show that he could deal with it. So he'd need He's used both backstabs. He so he doesn't have a really easy activator for the vile spine if he has it. Um, I mean he probably certainly would have used it by now. They don't really run vanish. He could yeah he could have second sap. Second sap would be annoying. Or he could disconnect. If he disconnected, that'd be a thing. Rip. Uh, okay. Well, in that case. Alright. Well. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if he disconnected or if he just, like, left. Um,. I don't know, it's entirely possible that he got mad and just left. Um, but I'm not sure. Funny how that works. <laughs>